So in this video, I'm going to show you a way to connect a potentiometer that is connected to an Arduino and read the information in Max so you can use it to pitch shift the samples. So we want to pitch shift that. Um, so just to start out, this is a much easier way to integrate potentiometers, other sensors using SPI, I2C, other libraries, even LED grids, and uh, it's a lot easier to expand into a larger system using this idea. Um, and that being said, it improves several areas of performance. So let's uh, just jump into it. So we want to first start the serial buffer. Um, I really like to comment my code. It helps me later on. Uh, 9600 baud rate. Um, and then all you want to do is just really easy set up the potentiometer. There you go, and then you want to uh, write the pot values to the buffer, and that's why we use serial dot parse or eh, serial dot print ln because they will also send a carriage return with the value, which is what we want. Uh, so that's the whole sketch. Uh, there you go. So let's set it up. Just got to turn on my camera, sorry about that. Um, next, let's just connect it and start pulling. So, as you can see, um, all the values are from 0 to 1023. Um, and so, well, I can't really control the pitch shift right now, so what do I have to do? Well, all you got to do is simply scale it, whoops, 0 to 1. And then you should be on your way. Um, just a note, this is why you would probably want an, um, an ADC, analog digital converter, uh, that will actually smooth out your signal a ton. Um, and so now, um, let's turn um, on the um, audio. Um, there we go. So all this information is coming from the Arduino, as you're seeing right here, as I just did, um, and you're just writing it to the buffer. And all you're doing is providing a polling clock and then just reading the information from the serial buffer. Um, this idea right here, um, this is actually from the serial communication example from MaxMSP. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty much sky's the limit. 